Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name's Laurie and I represent Ace Plant, a plant hire and sales company who specialise in mobile dust suppression and bonded fuel storage. Just before we get started, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the Institute of Quarrying for having us. And it's a pleasure to be here today to discuss dust suppression and the environment. So just moving on to our talking points. So today's webinar is a, is a discussion about some of the sites we've supplied dust suppression equipment to in the past and I've chosen three to talk about. We will be focusing on their dust and environmental concerns, what we supplied as a solution, and why the supplied solution was the best fit in terms of controlling dust effectively and in the most environmentally friendly way possible. Hopefully you will see some similarities between some of the mentioned sites and your site. Of course, there are many different ways to suppress dust, not just the methods mentioned today. However, we believe that the sites mentioned in this webinar have been supplied with the best fitting solution for them. I'm sure those of you who are listening are fully aware of the health and safety implications of dust in the workplace. This webinar will mainly focus on the environmental concerns associated with dust in the workplace, as opposed to the health and safety ones. You can check out our previous webinar with the Institute of Quarrying called Managing the Risks of Dust on Site, which covers health and safety in more detail. So moving straight into site number one, so site number one covers quite a large area and has many vehicle movements throughout the day, which results in very dusty open areas of concrete and sand. This cannot be avoided by traffic as it is the main access to the site just after their way bridge. The site was concerned about finding an efficient solution to their dust issues. The solution had to be efficient in both water and fuel usage. So if we're moving to the solution of what we provided for them, we supplied the site with a 115 horsepower tractor and a 7,200 litre dust suppression unit fitted with a carbon fibre spinning disc, which I'll talk more about in just a second. The dust suppression unit is ultimately a vacuum tanker, so it enables the operator to suck up water from the existing on-site lagoon, which is topped up naturally by rainwater. This eliminates the need for a separate pump, mains water feed or water tower, which reduces operating costs. Glancing back to the initial site requirements, the solution needed to be efficient in both water and fuel usage. We have already discussed that we enabled the site to use their existing water by supplying a vacuum tanker, but we also made this water go further, which is where the carbon fibre spinning disc comes in. This works by water being gravity fed onto the spinning disc, which in turn then atomizes water into a fine mist, as you can see in the picture. This method ensures that an area is not soaked unnecessarily, and is only dampened as required. The flow of the gravity fed water can be controlled by a two inch gate valve at the rear of the tanker so the operator can add a little more or a little less water as they see fit. This spinning disc method will make 9,000 litres of water last up to 90 minutes, whereas a traditional rear splash plate on full pressure will empty the same volume in around eight minutes. So it is a, an incredibly efficient method. Also, the water throw width of the spinning disc is around six meters, which means the unit is able to dampen an area quickly by keeping the amount of passes to a minimum. This helps save fuel as the time spent driving the tractor can be kept to a minimum too. So there we go, that was site number one. Just jumping into site number two now. As you can see from the image, uh, just on the right hand side here, this is quite a large site, surrounded by a built up area and train line. The entrance to the site is in the right of the picture and it extends to the left just beyond this image. Their dust issues are mainly caused by vehicle movements throughout the day, handling of stockpiles, and also the overspill of material on the concrete area where vehicles drive was also adding to their issue. As this is a site within an air quality management area, they required a piece of equipment that could tackle the problem effectively and quickly. Ideally, a do-it-all machine was required to tackle the various dust creators instead of running multiple pieces of equipment. So the solution, we supplied the site with a 130 horsepower tractor and a 9,000 litre dust suppression unit, a similar setup to what we saw at site one, but this unit is 1,800 litres larger and is fitted with uh, different attachments as well, those being a rain gun, road wash system and rear splash plate. The solution was the best fit for them because you could argue this, this unit is the Swiss army knife, if you like, of dust suppression tankers. The main reason behind this equipment's efficiency is the fact that it is targeted dust suppression and each attachment on the tanker had a specific role on a specific area of the site. 
It has the ability to dampen material stockpiles prior to any handling using the rain gun attachment, which we can see in the bottom left image. Has the ability to deep clean the concrete areas of the site using the high pressure road wash system, which we can see in the top two images. And also has the ability to generally dust suppress on all surfaces within the site using the rear splash plate in the bottom right image. This site's multiple dust creators can all be tackled by one machine, saving time, money and fuel. Moving into site number three, this site is surrounded by an industrial estate and it has close residential neighbours on the other side of the railway. Please excuse the screenshot from Google Maps. Unfortunately, it's not quite the best quality, but you sort of get the idea just to the left hand side of the diagonal railway there. This site recycles aggregate and their dust problems are mainly created by vehicle movements and all material handling, which includes loading, unloading and processing. This site uses mains water and also has a water meter, so efficiency was a must. Also, the site is very small, so a compact but highly efficient application was, was required. So uh, quite a challenging one here. The solution, we supplied the site with a 1,800 litre quick spray unit. This attachment uses the same carbon fibre spinning disc principle as we saw earlier on the tanker at site number one and does not soak an area unnecessarily. The gravity fed water on this unit can be controlled by a two inch gate valve, just the same as the tanker version. The quick spray is easy to utilize as the loading shovel operator just needs to swap for pallet forks, plug in the hydraulic hoses into their auxiliary or third service and it's ready to use. The quick spray can also be fitted with a specific carriage type instead of fork pockets if required, making this an even quicker appliance to utilize. This solution was the best fit for the site because the spinning disc uses water very efficiently. So great for sites on a water meter. Also, this site would not have been suitable for a tractor and tanker as it simply does not have the space. The quick spray allowed existing fleet machinery to be utilized instead of adding additional vehicles to their fleet. Also, when the quick spray is not in use, it can be placed in the same area as the bucket and fork attachments instead of having to find somewhere to park a large tractor and tanker. I know at the start of this webinar, I mentioned that we'll be discussing three sites, but I've actually chosen a fourth. This site is a little bit different to the others, though, as our supplied solution isn't directly suppressing dust, but rather a vessel to store and transport water. And it is an environmentally friendly solution to the site's problem. So jumping into this one, site number four, this site was using an, an excavator to load a crusher. Whilst they had a water storage tank on site, it was located at the top of the quarry. It was a problem transporting water. The site had tried IBCs, but they were only a thousand litres and were empty in a short period of time and required many vehicle movements to keep them topped up. This wasted fuel and time. The solution, we provided one of our 9,000 litre tankers for use as a water storage bowser. This unit could be towed to the water tower connected using the six inch bower coupling at the rear, filled up and then taken down to the quarry pit to feed the crusher's internal dust suppression system. For ease of use, we added a breather at the top of the tank so the water could gravity feed into the crusher's own pumped system. We also added a side mounted petrol driven pump for washing down equipment too. This was an effective and environmentally friendly solution to their problem as it held the same amount of water as nine IBCs and only required one round trip to fill it with water. As mentioned, it doubled as a mobile wash bay. The main environmental benefit was the vast reduction in vehicle movements, saving on fuel and reducing emissions as well. So we've now reached the end of this webinar. I wanted to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Thank you very much indeed for listening and I hope you have found this informative. Hopefully you managed to find some parallels between the example sites and the site that you work on. As mentioned at the start of this webinar, there are many ways to suppress dust and not just the methods mentioned here. These are only some examples. A couple of points to leave you with regarding efficiency. And if you are in search of dust suppression equipment for your site, be sure to think about water usage. How much water is it going to take to dampen an area and could the amount be reduced? Also think about where your water's coming from. Do you have an on-site lagoon or do you depend on metered mains water? And also area of suppression. Can the area that I'm trying to dampen be reduced? 
It's important to only dampen areas as necessary to avoid wasting water, fuel and time. Remember, dust is only caused by some sort of agitation, such as vehicle movements, material handling, etc. Some open, windy areas may also become dusty too, but those areas which are more sheltered from wind could be left alone. If you have any questions regarding this session, please do not hesitate to get in touch. And thank you very much indeed for listening.